Today I'm in Penang, Malaysia, and we're visiting Georgetown's notorious Love Lane. We're gonna have a nice lunch and then take a walk throughout Georgetown. Time for the next adventure. Let's go. Hi. Yes. Here we are in Penang, Georgetown's Love Lane. With a name like Love Lane, it got me curious, so I googled that so fast, and that's where I found out the notorious history of Love Lane. According to a quick Google search, it seems that Love Lane got the name because back in the 19th century, rich businessmen would actually come there and keep their mistresses along the lane, and it also was notorious for having a number of brothels. So back in the Middle Ages, the surrounding areas and this street in particular were known for having ladies of the night and mistresses kind of coming there for customers and just hanging out. So that's how it got its name. So still to this day, it keeps that little bit of romantic history <laughs> and it's still called Love Lane. Well, that was then. This is now, even though it still holds the name, now today it houses some of the coolest, trendy, hip restaurants on Penning Island in Georgetown. And at nighttime, it really lights up. It's definitely a happening spot. There's people outside. Everyone's trying to call you into their bars. It's really fun and definitely a spot to check out if you're in Georgetown. So today for lunch, we're going to check out this Cafe Wheelers. It's listed as one of the popular spots. So let's go. A window there, okay? I think I think so. <laughs> we'll check it out. <laughs> thank, thank you. Upstairs? She's instructed me to go upstairs. For a second, I thought I had to go to that staircase. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I thought I had to go up that little stairwell. was super tender and fragrant aromatic spicy and it went well with the sweet pureed potatoes and the edamame so it was a nice dish overall yeah i really like penning i like it. it's like really really cute yeah definitely reminds me kind of like bali only like a cross between bali and kale it's like as if Kuala Lumpur and bali had a baby because it's got like the attractions and the cuteness and um everything like bali but then it's got kind of that little bit of the feel of Kuala Lumpur and plus it's got like the traffic lights and the sidewalk so it's a little bit easier to navigate and walk around whereas Bali is like a little bit dangerous. Um, Penning is a lot more chill so like when I'm crossing streets and stuff I'm so used to being like on guard scared like looking because there's like in Bali there's always going to be a car popping out of nowhere it's insane so, like, you don't really get that same feeling and penning from my experience anyways if you haven't been i recommend it and there's lots of good food i'm sitting here and i'm like is that my name on the wall melanie almost <laughs> smart it's meant to be you a lot of the restaurants seem to be automated so you just type in on an app and order your food and then when you go to pay you just bring your little ticket over to the cash register so that's what i'm doing now i'm stuffed oh thank you so much thank you oh. that is so cute they gave me an orange uh for luck for chinese new year i think orange 
might stand for, I think it's for prosperity. Super cute. Oh, it says Love Lane. I just figured that out. It still looks like Melanie to me. <laughs> Okay, now let's go for a walk and look at pretty Georgetown. Walking under a canopied sidewalk and it's yellow. <laughs> it seems that the streets of Penang are speaking to me. <laughs> It's interesting, I noticed in Penang, a lot of the sidewalks, not only are there sidewalks, but there's covered sidewalks. That's like unheard of. I don't know if any other places in um, in Southeast Asia have that. Like Bali barely has sidewalks at all. A lot of places don't, but this place is like literally covered sidewalks. Wild. And the sun is scorching. It is so hot, so it's such a relief to be able to escape under these canopies as you're walking. Okay, this guy here, he just asked me to take a photo of him, which I was gonna do. Only he was like asking me to go down the alley, so I thought maybe it's not safe. Anyways, that's him. Did I almost get abducted? Uh, yeah. So he did have like blue spray paint, blue paint on his hands, which the sign that he wanted a photo of does have blue, so I don't know if he painted that, but I think it's maybe, I don't know. <laughs> And then I stumbled upon this beautiful little area. I'm pretty sure it's a Taoist temple because it reminds me of one that I went to in Kuala Lumpur. It has a lot of the same features, but I didn't ask because I didn't want to disturb anyone. These are the biggest incense I have ever seen. This is wild. Holy moly. Beautiful. No bad vibes here. <laughs>
is pretty scorching out right now, but it doesn't feel as hot as say Bali was feeling because Bali, it was in the rainy season, which is like really humid. So the humidity makes it even hotter. Uh, so it's like a dry heat, which I don't mind that much. So hot though. It's also okay because when you get really hot, you just go into one of these many, 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 many shaded areas. Ah, I love that. That is so cool. Georgetown. I love you long time. Thanks for coming on the adventure with me. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs>